Welcome back to After the Whistle. I'm Phil Bonatti. One of the pleasures of this job is seeing someone grow into the top tier athletes. Trace and Eagle staff has become a big part of the UND men's basketball program, completing a full season that saw the Fighting Hawks finish near the top of the Summit League standings. Got a chance to catch up with the former Bismarck Demon on his past season. Phil Bonatti here with Trace and Eagle staff, uh, UND Fighting Hawk men's basketball, but also former Bismarck Demon as well. Trace, and thanks for joining me. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. It was a lot. Crack the starting lineup a little bit, uh, you know, in your, what we're calling this, your freshman campaign, right? And uh, tell me about, you know, uh, that experience. And did you kind of expect this, uh, you know, this early on uh, being here at this program? Um, Right away, I didn't think I, like freshman year, I didn't think I'd start at all. Um, but he saw something in me and he believed me. So he started me for most of our conference games. And that's experience that really helps you out uh, for the season after, because I think experience is the most uh, important thing that's like in anything you do really the more experience you have the better so coming from that freshman year to the sophomore year um coach telling me that i'm gonna have a, a big season we're gonna have a good team coming here me just staying focused on the day-to-day -day aspect of things i mean i was just i really enjoyed my first two years here at und and the third one's gonna be just as fun i feel like and more exciting and with that experience obviously it helps a lot it looked like you were having just kind of a lot of fun did you did you make that a priority for you just um you know, showing showing how fun it is to kind of play basketball and doing what you're doing uh, over there? Yeah, that was kind of one of the things he recruited me is you got talked about all these different schools, but the whole point of college basketball is to play and uh, have fun. And that's something that right away in the season, I was kind of stressed because like so much stuff can get to you, especially at the D1 level. And you have to realize that you're, I'm playing my childhood dream right now. Like I wouldn't give up for the world. I just have to relax and enjoy the moment. And that's something that Coach Shay there helps you with. And I talked to you really like dang near every day or every other day and I call about this kind of stuff and he helps me so yeah having just playing my dreams and having fun just I wouldn't ask for anything else you know you're not the only Bismarck guy on that roster right and I know the the, the couple guys from the century side of things they're getting their feet wet what have you kind of taught them about or or what were you what, what kind of impressions are you trying to get on them as far as they're joining the program because I know they're they're going to start making an impact later on the down the road with the two century guys yeah, uh, some things I tell Ryan and Doc, uh, and even Zach Kraft, uh, just all our freshmen in general is like they try to be like the main guy like they were in high school, and that's not going to work right away because obviously like you're going to come in, there's going to be like a Tyree or Nice or a BJ that's going to go like be like the main guy or, like the scorer on the team, and uh, like to get your feet wet right away to start playing is something like my thing was like a catch and shoot threes, like if, you, if I can catch and shoot at a high rate I can play get on the floor. And that's something I tell these guys, like, do something that you you think you're good at and be the best at that to find some, a spot you can play before. Like, whether well, it's playing defense, like, if I go in there, just play defense five minutes, pass the ball, like, just starting to get that role to get comfortable and maintain, like, bigger roles in head. So that's what I started doing. And now I'd say I'm at a pretty comfortable role for this team coming up next year. So I've been telling the freshmen, just find something that team needs and be really good at that so you can help the team win in any way. And then, obviously, you can expand your game from there when you get opportunities. How quick did it take for you to realize that, uh, to define your role in a sense? How quick did it take you to uh, realize that? Uh, freshman year, it took a while, obviously, because I didn't play a lot right away. Uh, I remember I played like six minutes our first game against uh, Incarnate Ward, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was mad. I was like, I should just redshirt it. On. And then obviously throughout the season, and that motivated me to get better in playing time and kind of just playing, get that feel for the game. Uh, that's what helped me develop my role over time. And obviously you can't come in right away and be a star player unless you're like, Again, like six, eight, six, nine, can just do it all. So I, my body wasn't physically ready, and I had to find ways to adjust. So catch and shoot right away. After catch and shoot, people are trying to get me off the line, off the depth, and just the film and everything that the coach helped you with it just a lot. So I mean, just that experience again over time it helps. I mean, now we're in the three class system. You got a lot of options to watch basketball now. Here, what is what is fun about watching the growth of the game and the players that are coming through uh, North Dakota now? Yeah, I mean, I love it. Uh, I just had an interview not too long ago, and I, I was talking about like me coming from North Dakota. And we have a lot of talent here that doesn't get recognized, and uh, now that I see like all these players like advancing and like becoming what North Dakota can become for basketball wise, I think we need a lot of recognition with that. Um, but like, yeah, I have friends all over, like Cheyenne, um, my boy John won a state championship. Uh, Devils like Wiley the won a state championship. Like, just see all my, all my, all my little guys just perform and. Watch him grow up like that. I mean, that's just really cool to see too. And especially my BHS team, watching Preston Lamar and all those guys that I played with, seniors, and just like hit hard, you know what I'm saying? It's getting old, but yeah, it looks really cool. Trey, it's been great catching up with you. I appreciate you taking some time. Yeah, I appreciate the call. Thank you. 
Trayson looks forward to the next season and says he has Iowa State going all the way in this year's March Madness bracket. Stay with us. More after the whistle is next.